Hi, welcome to my channel. The beginning of this video is a little bit different than normal. Um, there's a reason for it. When I sat down to edit this review of Maybelline Snapscara, I discovered that I did not show you the wand. So I thought I'll sit down, record um, the wand portion and just add it to the beginning of the video. So hopefully that's okay with everybody. So I'll just show you the wand. So it looks like this. Just a curved wand. And now that I've actually completed that task, we can get on to the actual video. Hi, welcome to Northern Thrifters. My name is Melinda, and today I will be doing a quick review of the Maybelline Snapscara Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. And the outer packaging looks like this. I picked up mine in the color pitch black, but they do offer it in a couple more adventurous colors. I just thought black is more appropriate for me. And I will give a little disclaimer before I begin. I am not a professional by any means. I am a 43 year old who just recently got into playing around with makeup. So into my review. <laughs> so I picked this up because I was seeing a lot of ads that were saying that it's an easy on, easy off formula and that it could uh, be wiped off with just warm water. And I thought, oh great, I can stop all the scrubbing and tugging at my lashes if this mascara works. So it's um, supposed to be a highly pigmented uh, wax free formula and it's supposed to go on smoothly and clump free. So I'll just let you know kind of my experience with it so far. Um, it does go on very smoothly. It's not super thick and it is buildable. I've put on a couple layers um, on my eyelashes and it, it didn't clump or do anything weird. Um, I, I'm not using it on my lower lashes. I don't really like uh, mascara on my lower lashes. So there is that. And I'm not finding that it transfers to um, under my eye or um, like, you know how you get it up here sometimes when you put on mascara, you end up having to clean up up here. I haven't had that so far, so that's kind of nice. It doesn't mess up your face. And it doesn't seem to like flake off after a few hours. I was thinking because it's wax free that that might happen. I haven't experienced that, so that's good. And I have to say, it does come off super easy. So I do have some on right now. So my phone was just ringing, so I had to cut out the video. So I, there'll be a little bit of a splice here, unfortunately. But um, so I have this mascara on today and I thought, you know, on camera, let's wash it off and I can show you how easily it comes off. So let's hope it actually works after I've said um, that it will. So let me just get, I have a little, pad here. Now I was thinking I probably shouldn't have had eyeshadow on so that it would, you know, it won't be the eyeshadow smearing all over the place. So let's just try. So this is just water on a little cotton pad and I'm looking into my camera. So you can see it's coming off. So And my water has gotten cold while I'm sitting here filming. So that is probably not helping. Oh, I think I got it all there. This is just um, like eyeshadow that's on there. So we won't won't worry about that. So there we go. It came off with just water. And I have found it's not, it doesn't bother my eyes at all. Um, Cause some mascara is actually, oh, I've got an eyelash kind of. <laughs> some mascaras I find like, um, it's almost like heavy for my eyelashes and it, it's just uncomfortable. So this one I find it hasn't bothered me at all. So um, overall, I really do like this. I'm gonna continue to use it until it's empty or it expires. <laughs> so let me know, have you tried the Snapscara Mascara? 
from Maybelline. What did you think of it? Do you use another mascara that you swear by? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.